Jeff Frick here from the Palo Alto offices of Silicon Angle. We're cutting in on a Friday afternoon with some breaking news. I've got with me John Furrier, founding editor of SiliconAngle.com. And John, why don't we just cut right to it? There's a lot of action today about the Microsoft CEO search. Everything seems to have settled on Satya Nadella, the Microsoft cloud guy, apparently very involved in Bing. Cube alumni, we had a great interview with him at the Stanford Excel Summit uh, last summer, but you've got some new information. Why don't you share it with us now? Yeah, Jeff, I mean, obviously getting a lot of tweets. Uh, the story I wrote this morning, breaking news, uh, that uh, one of the front runners that's not being mentioned is Sundar Pichai from Google, and uh, that's kind of going all over the place. All the press are now alerted to it, getting phone calls. Um, just want to just get that out there, that look at the data that we have from SiliconANGLE, which um, is about getting the signal from the noise. And one of the big noisiest stories today is that it's a done deal, um, that Microsoft has a new CEO reported by Bloomberg, Kara Swisher at, at Recode, and uh, I think those stories are consistent with what we're finding. However, one thing that's a wrinkle in the equation, it's not a done deal. Um, or if it's a done deal, no one knows about which way it's going to go, but what we reported today, and we stand by this report, confirmed by sources internal to Microsoft, is that uh, Sundar is a front runner and in discussions with, the, with, the, uh, with Microsoft for this job. And uh, that is a significant, uh, significant news that has not been reported. We were originally reporting it here at SiliconANGLE. And Jeff, as you know, we know with theCUBE and SiliconANGLE, you know, we go out where the, where the action is and, and extract the signal from the noise. And, and one thing that's happening here is that this absolutely is in play um, and uh, super secret under wraps and wanted to get that out there. We just want to provide the data and you know, people are challenging me on Twitter, um, trying to get headlines. Hey, it is a headline. And to us, it's real news, it's real data. And we want to stream that data to you. And that's really why we posted that story and, and we stand by that story. And, and we'll see how this plays out. Yeah, so it kind of feels like Silicon Angle's the uh, the fish, you know, proverbial fish swimming upstream, <laughs> uh, um, amongst all this other just flow of data that's really supporting the other candidates. Yeah. So, you know, do we have enough data? You feel good about the sources, and and it is interesting because you say because the guy's not locked down, they haven't announced them officially. So, yeah, I mean, this is this is this fire. this is a, this is the future of journalism, in my opinion. And this is and this is something that you know we we we're not worried about. If this thing you know if this thing goes in a different direction, people want to have certain you know, number of sources, like the Wall Street Journal, New York Times. These guys go through all kinds of validation. Um, we're a little bit let looser than that, except we want to get the story right, and this is the right story. He right. is in the mix. Now, you know, are the PR people confirming it? Are people confirming it? No, of course not. Would you confirm? <laughs> was, was Marissa Mayer uh, out there? Uh, I'm not sure how this works, but normally how this works is uh, when this candidate's in the mix that gets leaked out to get feedback, this is absolutely something that, you know, if, if and when this happens, it's not something that anyone wants to be leaked. And we dug this up through our own original reporting as everyone uh, on our team knows and our, our fan base knows is that you know, Silicon Angle and Wikibon and theCUBE, we're not about fabricating rumors. Um, we saw some folks on Twitter, oh, this guy's looking for headlines. And we have no banner ads on our site, so we, it's not about the pages, it's about getting the story right. And the second thing is, is that uh, you know, out of all the bloggers on the, on the internet, you know, myself and, and Dave Vellante included as an analyst, we've been covering Microsoft for over 25 years. I have intimate knowledge and sources going back 25 years in Microsoft. Um, and so we have deep sources there. Going to Google, I've been involved in, with Google since 1999 up and down the company, deep contacts there, deep knowledge of both companies, both from a product standpoint, market standpoint, execution standpoint. And so, you know, we stand by that credible report that we put out there. And, and again, it's about getting the data out there because the crowd is, the crowd sourcing component of this will be interesting. And, uh, you know, and that's the, the story here. And the story is, you know, how that plays out. Am I in behind closed doors? Do I have sources telling me the negotiation? No, that is not the track. But, but we do have sources inside that will confirm that uh, multiple times. And of course, certainly the rumors have been circulating. We've been watching this for some time um, that he's obviously, you know, a guy that's, that's, that's been targeted. Now, the extent that he's the guy, uh, no one's reported that. So that's significant. Well, yeah. well, let's take it a different angle. So, so we've got two, can let's just say we've got two candidates right now. I mean, it, it appears from the outside looking in that Satya was a pretty bold move, right? He wasn't from the Office group. He wasn't from the Windows group. You know, apparently had a lot to do with Bing and their cloud offering. So that looked like a pretty bold move. But now you throw in Sundar. You know, now you're talking Google, you're talking Android, uh, you're talking Chrome, Chromecast. Uh, the guy seems to have the, the right play of, of a retail side and a consumer facing side, but that seems like a complete another leap uh, for Microsoft to go that direction. I mean, here's, here's, what's, here's why a lot of people are not seeing this coming. One is probably it's very confidential. Two, there's two factions within, within Microsoft. Here's the data that, that we can report to you. 
there are two factions within uh, Microsoft that, that want to see different directions. One direction is clearly to, to, to stay, keep the ship enterprise focused. Obviously, their earnings were fantastic um, on the last uh, report. Um, they're an enterprise company, okay? So huge uh, market there. So let's keep the stock price. Let's get it's an insider. That's choice one. Choice two would be another faction within Microsoft that says, hey, we've lost our developer community to the extent that now open source is out there. Uh, not lost, but you know what I'm saying. They want to reboot that. Bring in the mojo and operating systems focus. Bring in someone who can come into the modern era of the consumerization of, of, of modern infrastructure. That is enterprise and consumer. And so, you know, the debate has been out there uh, in the blog, certainly about Xbox. The mobile uh, misfires have been well documented. So we look at a guy like Sundar, who doesn't have the operating experience to run, say, a Fortune 50 company like Microsoft. However, he does have the product chops, so he appeals to a significant stakeholder and, and, and a group of people within Microsoft that says, Android, Chrome, Chrome OS, Android OS, apps, mobile, cloud, social, that's, that's a perfect storm. So he's actually has the technical knowledge and chops. We've seen him, we've covered him at SiliconANGLE at Google I.O. Um, certainly done some great work there. So he's certainly viable as an executive to lead the company from that standpoint. So uh, the other candidates, Ty, he's got the operating experience and runs a P&L. You know, that's going to be the, 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 the trade-off, but ultimately this, he's definitely in the mix and you know, that's the story. So you know, there's a lot of no's and yeses on both sides, so you can go out and, and try to find that. But that's the report, that's the data that we have and that we're reporting is that that is definitely in play and we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, so exciting times, breaking news coming to you again from SiliconANGLE's uh, Palo Alto studio. Um, keeping things exciting on a Friday. I hope uh, the East Coast, everybody didn't already go home because things are moving and eventually, right, it'll yeah. play out. We'll see who gets the job and, uh, and may the best yeah. candidate win. And, and Jeff, as you know, we were just at Open Compute Summit. We were just at the OpenStack Enterprise Summit. The game's changing. You look at OpenStack, you look at what's happening on the hardware side, and Microsoft actually just contributed uh, uh, reference designs to Open Compute. The world is changing radically. That is a direction. So, you know, a lot of people are saying if Microsoft stays institutional, they'll, they'll keep the ship in the direction that they're going and some want some radical reconfiguration that stays in the core concept that will appeal to the Microsoft employees. Yeah. Good, good stuff. All right, so we are going to check out for now. We'll keep an eye on the story. Keep watching siliconangle.com for the latest, and we will see you on the next Cube Gig. Bye-bye.